my name is Tammy and welcome to my cooking show. So today we are going to learn how to make a family favorite of mine called cheeseburger casserole. You start out with a can of tomato sauce, a quarter cup of ketchup, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, a dash of salt, a dash of garlic powder, a dash of onion powder, and a little bit of sugar. And you'll come up with this really nice mixture. It makes a nice tomato mixture, similar to what you would put on a regular cheeseburger, but with a little extra seasoning. We'll add this to the meat mixture later. Let's see how the meat is doing. We've had it sitting in hot water for about a half hour now, trying to thaw it out, and it feels like it's in pretty good shape. So now we're gonna bring it over to the pan and heat it up. Now this is my favorite part. The meat and the onions smell so good together. So what I do is I have here some chopped dehydrated onion. It's really easy to work with. I just grab a little handful and spread it on top. It normally calls for a small onion chopped, but this will work. And I turn up my heat and then in time it will start heating up and browning and it'll smell so wonderful in here. I'm just loving the smell of this onion and meat mixture. Almost done. to do when I drain the meat is get a bowl, get a piece of foil, place it in the bowl, and then that way when I drain it into here, when it cools down, all you have to do is put it together and throw it away. Now I'm going to stir in this tomato mixture that we made earlier and mix it all together and let it cook for a little bit, let it simmer before we put it into an 8 inch pan. So it's bubbly now. So, <laughs> come on over here. Let's see. Yummy cheeseburger mixture. Whoa. I got my 8 inch pan. We're gonna put some butter in it to make it so this won't stick and put this partially on there. I'll show you. <laughs> I'm glad that we're gonna edit this. <laughs> okay. So now it's all buttered and ready. I'm going to put half of the meat mixture in the casserole dish, like so. Can make it half, okay? And spread it all around. Nice and tasty. And then I'm going to slice the cheese. We use whichever kind we like. You can, I grew up using cheddar cheese. Right now we're just using Colby Jack, or Monterey Jack actually. We just layered it with cheese and now we're going to layer it with the last half of the mixture. And spread it out. And then we are going to top it with refrigerator biscuits. Layer the biscuits onto the top. So tasty. Well, you want to tell them what happened? Well, um, I forgot to set the oven on or turn it on at all, so we're waiting for it to preheat. So we decided to watch our favorite show right now, Scythe, while we're waiting. So don't do that. Eric's so hungry right now, right? So we're waiting and waiting. So hopefully it won't take too long for it to preheat.
Did you know it's faking? It's ready! Woo! We're putting it in the oven. Finally! Oh, hot. So you put it in the oven for, at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. And we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, the timer just went off, so we're gonna check on it. Come look. It's looking tasty and ready, so let's pull her out. Okay, we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes, and then we will dig into it. I'm excited. All right, here we are. So excited to eat this thing. Are you excited? Oh, I'm excited. Oh yeah, it smells so good. So, as I like to say from a culture that I love so much, buen provecho. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, let's dig in. Here. Okay. Now this is the real taste test. If I see that he enjoys it, we gotta keep it in our family recipes. So here's the moment of truth. Yum. <laughs>